here in this video we are going to see a problem on deflection of stepped bar so here is the question a brass bar shown in figure diagram is given is subjected to a tensile load of 40 kilo newton pull type of load calculate total elongation of the bar and maximum stress induced in the stepped bar take capital E that is Young's modulus as 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So this is the question we have. Here they are telling us to calculate or get the value of total elongation. So this is the question. We have to find out how much is the total elongation of this bar and maximum stress induced. I will denote it as sigma suffix max. So these are the two questions which we have. Now let us try to get the solution for this problem. In the solution part, as we see, this step bar is having three different diameters and three different length. So it is better to divide it into three parts. So I'll say that this will be the first section for us. Here we have second section. And at last, we have the third section. So now, first, I'll separate section 1. It has a diameter of 30 mm. Length is 200 mm. The diameter is 30 mm mm length 200 mm now here this bar is subjected to tensile load as given in the problem value is 40 kilo newton so this is a tensile load or we can say pull type of load and this will be section 1 for us so the first thing is i'll calculate the area of this section i'll say that since cross sectional area of section 1 that will be a1 is equal to pi by 4 into d square so therefore area 1 is equal to pi by 4 into diameter is 30 mm 30 square so area 1 comes out to be 706 706.86 mm square now after getting this area we have the length of the section and even the applied load as 40 kilo newton i'll calculate the deflection in this section so therefore deflection in section 1 is given by delta L1 is equal to PL upon AE in the first section. So therefore delta L1 is equal to P it is 40 kilo Newton since pull type load I am taking the value of P as positive. If it would have been push type of load that is compressive load then I would have taken the value as negative. So here this is 40 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by L length is 200 divided by area 1 that is 706.86 and Young's modulus is given in the problem that is 1 into 10 raised to 5. So from this deflection in section 1 comes out to be 0.11 mm next similarly i'll separate section 2 which has a diameter of 20 mm as we can see here and length is 300 mm diameter is 20 mm here length is 300 mm 
this is section 2 for us so since cross sectional area of section 2 area 2 is pi by 4 into d square here the diameter is 20 so 20 square area 2 comes out to be 314.16 mm square after getting this area we can find the deflection also so therefore deflection in section second is given by delta L2 is equal to PL upon AE for the second section. So here I'll go on putting the values. Therefore, deflection in second section is equal to load. It is given in the problem. It is subjected to 40 kN of tensile load. 40 into 10 raised to 3 into length is 300 divided by area 314.16 Young's modulus is 1 into 10 raised to 5 so deflection in second section it comes out to be 0 0.38 mm now similarly we are going to separate the third section It has a diameter of 40 mm. Length is also given here as 400 mm. Diameter is 40 mm. This is the third section for us. And it is also subjected to tensile load of 40 kN. Now, again, I'll say that similarly, cross sectional area for the third section A3, it will be pi by 4 into D square, diameter is 40 here, so 40 square and area 3, this value comes out to be 1256, 1256.63 mm square. Now, after getting area, for the third section next year I'll calculate the deflection that since deflection in section 3 is given by delta L3 is equal to PL upon AE for the third section so therefore deflection in the third section load is 40 into 10 raised to 3 length 400 mm divided by area it is 1256.63 Young's modulus is 1 into 10 raised to 5 so from this I will get the deflection in the third section as 0 0.127 mm. Now after getting all three elongations we are going to add them up to get the total elongation. So therefore total elongation of step bar It is given by delta L is equal to delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L3. So here I will go on putting the values. Therefore, delta L is equal to delta L1 was 0 0.11, delta L2 0 0.38 
and delta L3 0 0.127. So if I add up these three values, my total answer comes out to be 0 0.617 mm. As my answer is positive, here I'll say that the total effect is of elongation. This is the answer. It means the step bar which is given in the problem. Here, because of the action of this 40 kN load, this step bar is being pulled and that elongation we have found out it comes out to be 0 0.617 mm and here there is an increase in length. Next, here, if we see in this question, the first part was to calculate the deflection. We have found out the value. It is 0 0.613 mm. The next thing is they are telling us to calculate maximum stress. Now, if we look at this stripped bar, in this we have to find out either in section 1, 2 and 3 out of these three sections, in which section there will be maximum stress. That is what we have to calculate. So here I'll use the concept that since stress is given by the formula of load P upon area. So from this relation, it is clear that stress is inversely proportional to area. Here if we look in the diagram, we have to calculate the maximum stress. So therefore, maximum stress will be in minimum area. This is the conclusion. Maximum stress would be at the minimum area. Now, if I look at the three sections, at section 2, we are having the least diameter of 20 mm and even here, the area is minimum. So, maximum stress will be at section 2. So, I will say that therefore, maximum stress in section second that is sigma max is equal to load P upon area. I will take it as area 2 because that will give us the minimum area. So now here I will put the values P it is 40 into 10 raised to 3. Area 2 the value was 314.16. So if I divide this numerator by denominator, my answer will be sigma max comes out to be 127.32 Newton per mm square. So this much will be the maximum stress in the section and this maximum stress will act at section 2. So here in this problem, we had two questions to calculate the total elongation we have found out and maximum stress. Once we have solved these questions, the problem is completed.